Hello, uh, how the fudge you doing? Hey guys, D Field here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. And as you guys can probably hear a little bit, my voice is getting back. It's a little bit, it's getting better. I can at least do my intro at this point and I can at least talk a little bit more enthusiastically compared to when I was talking uh, about a couple of days ago. But uh, Insanity's actually at school right now. Um, he hasn't had the time to record uh, the past couple of days because of the fact that he is getting pre or preparing for his finals for his little middle middle school classes and whatnot i think he's in he's in eighth grade i believe if i can think off the top of my head but guys we've got some huge announcements in this episode it's not going to be a full-blown raid this episode we're not going to be doing anything of that sort but i've got a little a couple of things to talk about and a couple of things to kind of look out for so if you guys can do slash f who if i do slash f who we just became Faction allies with the faction impulse f who impulse and um, I was talking with their clan leader and I believe their clan leader is um, Well, first of all, they have David the sloth and then I know Huntswar Huntswar is a twitch channel or channel moderator or chat moderator for myself And he's uh, he manages he helps manage day or he helps manage that faction himself So we were on live stream yesterday and I was like we were trying to figure out who raided us and freaking all of you guys in the comment section everybody in the twitch chat was like hyper darkness raided you and i was like are you serious <laughs> so then i had to, I, I dragged dylan into the call and i was like i was like you freaking raided me and he's like it's factions but blah, blah blah so me and dylan are still amazing friends okay don't get that wrong guys me and dylan are still amazing friends but when it we the, as soon as we log into factions purple we're mortal enemies okay so we've f enemied uh dylan's faction it's high f who hyper darkness i think it's sexy squad so he's only got a couple of members on and now i think i have an inside member in their actual faction so lizzie beth lizzie bethy mc she's uh, one of uh rusher's friends like she's in rusher's series i'm pretty sure and uh basically i was talking with her last night and i was like yo lizzie do you have a set home in um what's it called in, in dylan's base and she was like i might but i'm not sure i'll have to check later so then i might have like an inside insider i shouldn't have said this but whatever i might have an insider on dylan's faction that might be able to get me a tp like either near the base or at the base so that's gonna be definitely something to look out for i've finally allied up with impulse and i'm looking for about one or two more strong 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 factions that we can ally up so that we can uh, start to kind of dominate you know factions purple and call it our domain because obviously um as ascension we only have a couple of members on like i can't invite everybody into ascension just because you know for safety reasons i don't want my base getting inside rated every other episode so i've only got a couple of people on ascension and it's going to be a really really nice thing to have a couple of allies to be helping us out during raids or during wars and things of that nature so that's going to be a pretty pretty cool thing to look forward to but another thing that i wanted to announce guys uh, i just fixed it this morning kobe fixed it and then i fixed the shops this morning to kind of match along with it if I go up here, uh, dear boys, you can take this floor. Beware natural mob spawner. So I lit up this entire area here on our home, um, what's it called? On our home vault or what's it called? Home new base. So we have this entire room up here that Snick says that we can literally use for whatever. So we have a, such a huge room here. And I was like, what What the heck are we going to ever put over here? And I finally figured out what we're going to be doing for that small section up there. So uh, over the next couple of episodes, I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be rebuilding another vault, obviously, because the other one got raided by Dylan. And then, um, what's it called? Uh, let me go to slash warp shop here real quickly. And if you guys can look over here, it's going to be a little bit different for each one of the faction servers, but it should be fairly, fairly similar. But on factions purple, it's literally right when you spawn into warp shop, it should be just to your right side. And look at this guys. All the spawners are now available. There's only going to be what? Nine, six or three, six, nine, yeah, nine spawners, zombie, skeleton, cow, iron, golem, enderman, zombie, pigman, blaze, creeper, and spider. Now, a lot of you guys were asking or complaining about this, the prices for iron golems because I did nerf the uh, iron ingot prices to about five dollars uh, an ingot and I still kept the spawners prices high for the iron golems now that is intentional the reason why the iron golem spawners are so freaking 
overpriced. Well, not, they're not really overpriced because the amount of utility that you get from them is like over the top. Like you don't want to ruin the economy too fast. And so if it's if it's still a million dollars to purchase one of these spawners and you only get, you know, five dollars, five dollars per one ingot, it's still going to be worth it to use that type of farm, which I'm probably going to be investing in first. I'm going to start to save up money. Let's see how much I have 2.2 .2 million. So I do have enough for about two of these spawners right now, but we're going to be doing that in another episode. We'll probably be working on a different um we'll be we'll be working on a bunch of different spawner rooms i'm i'm really 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 interested in in this in this faction's server i'm going to be doing well obviously an iron golem spawner for the main bulk of the actual um for the main bulk of the actual money income we're going to be using iron golem spawners because Iron Golem Spawners, if you guys don't know, is the 100% the easiest thing that you can AFK overnight. Like, you literally, there's no risk in dying. It's just 100% guaranteed income with iron golems that is the reason why these are priced so high with the iron ingots being nerfed so a lot of you guys are complaining about the prices the prices are there for a reason i've already, i've been playing factions for over a year now and i know that the economy gets ruined by these iron golems very 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 quickly and that's why we have placed them very very high but people are still going to end up using them because that's just how that's just how good they are it's, everyone's just going to end up buying it anyway so you know what might as well put the price high so that those people have to actually work a hundred percent harder for them to actually get that farm to be where they want it to be so um another thing that i wanted to do is i wanted to do a creeper spawner so now i think tnt is not sellable because of the because of the duplication glitches so uh, i'm not sure if i'm going to be still i'm going to still be doing tnt just because of the fact that obviously creeper spawners don't work or they're not going to be profitable if we can't um make ourselves some um, what is it called what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Make ourselves some TNT because TNT would be making, if we had TNT sellable, it definitely make creeper spawners 100%, um, 100%, how do you say it, profitable and, and uh, if we could do that. And then another thing that I want to look towards is if I look over here, how much are blaze rods? Blaze rods look like 16 for 1800. How much is that? Is that 50, 50 a rod? 800 divided by 16 that is yeah 50 per rod so that's actually pretty that's a decent decent price if we I mean, a blaze spawner is what 450,000 so I mean it's not that expensive to get a blaze spawner so I'm probably gonna end up doing a iron golem spawner for sure an iron golem farm for sure blaze spawner farm maybe it's gonna be i'm gonna have to do a little bit of calculations like do money per hour money time per hour or something like that to see if that's gonna be worth getting a blaze spawner if i don't do a blaze spawner i'm probably gonna try and uh locate a zombie pigment or try to build a zombie pigment spawner but the thing about zombie pigment spawner is they're obviously a lot more expensive it's six hundred fifty thousand for a zombie pigment spawner so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of research gonna have to do a little bit of time rates money rates and how much money we get per hour with each farm and kind of just go for there and i can't wait to give you guys the results of that and uh, obviously some um farm tutorials farm building tutorials with all of that good stuff in it but let's go back to slash home new base and uh, i actually wanted to rebuild my vault to Today. since I don't have insanity today I'm just gonna kind of start out on the basics of the farm and I don't even have a location picked for this farm yet so I'm probably gonna do a quick pause right here find a vault location and then we'll go ahead and get straight back to it all right guys picked out our new location for D base got myself a diamond pickaxe here so that we can definitely go ahead and uh, mine up with the obsidian but we've got a bunch of obsidian here now before I actually start grabbing this obsidian from the home over here let's go ahead and uh, look into our old vault this is our old vault that got raided by freaking Dylan uh, do I have any more obsidian? I do have obsidian here perfect perfect so I'm gonna grab these right now so I'm gonna use these for right now I, I think that he just forgot to come back and raid the rest of this because there's still there's still a decent amount of stuff in here I was able to find myself a pickaxe from right here so like look there's still a couple of master pickaxes here actually so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab these right now uh, before uh, he watches this video and realizes that he's forgotten some good stuff and uh, I think that should be all so slash home new vault 
oh, we're in the middle of the sky. There we go. Had built up and I've picked up myself a new location. So this is going to be a very, 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 um, I guess you could say a very, very temporary place. I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep this as my 100% new vault right now or in the future, but I'm going to build this here just so that I can kind of store all of my valuables again uh, without it being 100%, um, you know, just out in the open or just keeping it in my uh, new base. Because if I keep everything in my new base and that new base gets raided, we're obviously going to be at a huge, huge disadvantage because we're not going to have anything. So it's going to be a very, very small base here for the meantime, just kind of just... Uh, I guess you could say a harbor for my uh, future raids and I'm hoping that um, if if I can convince Lizzie if I can convince Lizzie to give me the hyper darkness's cords we should be able to raid him sometime soon like I know he's been very very scared as of recently I was like I was talking with him last night just dropping him the quick hints I was just like yo Dylan you know I'm gonna like raid you tonight right and then like he just he just like laugh it off but like I could tell that he was like worried so Dylan's definitely definitely worried that we're uh, we're after him now and i'm i'm pretty sure that what he's gonna try to do is he gonna, he's gonna try to get some of you guys against me he's gonna try to get some of you guys against me and uh, he's gonna <coughs> excuse me he's gonna try and convince you guys to join his uh the dark side on his team but don't worry don't fall for it guys we have to we have to stick together and we have to power through this and actually make it so that it's it's, it's hard for him to get an ally here on factions purple so that's gonna be it's uh, so cool oh it's so cruel actually not cool it's so cruel that he decided to raid me when i was freaking in the middle of my sickness oh my gosh that is so bad but anyways not a big deal we're gonna get through it we didn't lose too much honestly the the one thing that i kind of really really regret losing is the stacks of tnt that i had like i had so many stacks of tnt that that was probably what made his raid worthwhile like if if i were to buy all that tnt like we had at least four or five double chests of tnt so that's definitely what made his raid worthwhile hopefully we can get some of it back um, when we raid him but I, I'm gonna need you guys help I'm gonna need you guys help if you guys see Lizzie on the server make sure you tell her to sell us their cords guys sell us Dylan's cords if any of you guys find it even send it to me in a mail send and if you guys send me legitimate cords I will pay you big time I will definitely pay you big time I got to sneeze over here in one second oh my gosh I feel it coming but it's not stopping Okay, so let's go ahead and just build a wall over here. It's going to be just a nice, simple vault. It's basically the same layout as the past one, which somehow got raided by freaking Dylan. Out of all the people to raid us, it was freaking Dylan. Oh, my gosh. But it's all good. We've got Impulse on our side now. And you know what? Dylan started a war. Dylan has started a war, guys. Uh, it's, it's up to you guys which side you want to pick if you guys want to go against me. If you guys want to team up against me, you're going to have to do some convincing. If you guys can get onto Impulse, if you guys can get onto Impulse, they're a very, very f powerful, powerful faction. Like 78, I think, almost 80 members on Impulse. And that's going to be a, a huge, huge advantage for the Impulse members if they get ni a couple of nice, loyal members. And I think that they're looking for just donators, though. though. So that might be a problem for some of you guys, obviously, because obviously some of you guys haven't donated to factions per purple yet but that's gonna be amazing we're, we're gonna have a they're gonna be a impulse is gonna be a huge donator faction in the future like i i can already tell like they're they're very very coordinated with each other the, the leaders of the faction know what they're doing they just gotta kind of pull it together a little bit more and they're gonna be one of the one of the factions to be reckoned with on factions purple very very soon here so this is, as you guys can see here it's very very simple to actually make a vault itself like just a nice nice cube vault and then all, all i'd need to do is um throw some water on this vault and it would stop about 70% of the raiders who'd try to get in here. So that, that's a nice simple vault. We'll probably finish this off a little bit later, but you know, I just wanted to, uh, I, I wanted a room to kind of store all of my, um, all of my stuff after slash home vault, all of my stuff after, um, what's it called? After we got raided. So let's go ahead and sell all these nether warts. Actually, we could actually, we're, uh, we'll end up using the, all these nether warts uh, to kind of save up for the spawners because definitely, uh, since the spawners are now out, uh, it's going to be very, very difficult to actually find. Um, it's going to be very, very difficult to actually use normal farms like uh, plant farms just because everybody's going to prefer to use a mob spawner so definitely just going to sell these nether warts right now and then easy 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 money right there let's do slash back we're almost at 2.5 million so let's see if there's anything else that we can grab from this there's a hell of a ton of obsidian let's grab all that uh anything in there no 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 
just leftover tools let's grab that obsidian in there oh my gosh i lost all of my master sets i gotta i gotta start collecting on my master sets again i think i could actually i could actually use my master set right now right before this episode ends so oh, let's grab these potions right there and see what else we need to get here see what else we can grab i don't think there's anything else oh all this tnt we had four double chests filled with tnt and they're all gone there we go there's more obsidian in there slash home new vault and then we're just gonna store everything in here for the meantime just before just before we end this episode just so that we can kind of get situated again new vault new time period the war has started let's go ahead and use our kit master 2 here and slowly stock up on master sets we're probably going to end up needing these in the very very near future so that's going to be good we'll use that once per episode thank you guys so much for watching the war begins if you guys find hyper darkness's base i want you guys to sell me his god dang cords i want to raid that freaking butthole oh my gosh but it's all good this is factions this is what factions does the war has begun, guys. Thank you guys for watching. This is D-Field. We'll see you guys later.